I'm not afraid of being stuck. No, it's a Honda. It's a good brand. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It won't stop. Okay. It always keep going. Pop, 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 pop. Mm. Yeah. Uh, next time you must invite me. Good morning internet, it is 10 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome in Zimbabwe, welcome to my last day in Zimbabwe. I'm first going to show you on the map what the plans for today. So I am now right here, close to Masvingo at the Great Zimbabwe. And the plan for today is to follow this road and then cross the border back into South Africa. So I'm just waiting because only at 11 o'clock I can pick up my PCR uh, test results in uh, Masvingo. Then I'll still have to ride 350 kilometers, something like that, to the border with South Africa. Um, I'm going to pack up my last things and then I'll tell you more about the plans and why I'm going back to South Africa and, and all of that. But um, yeah, first I'm gonna um, wrap up my map before it rips even more <laughs> in this wind. So why am I going back to South Africa? Well, there's a couple of reasons and one of the main reasons I am not going to tell you now I know, I know, keeping up the suspense oh. Now there's something really, really cool coming up in South Africa which is one of the main reasons why I'm going back to South Africa now but the other reason is basically that I have gone to the countries that I wanted to go to and that I could go to because if you remember correctly, I don't have my name on the papers of Savannah. I couldn't get that done because I came to South Africa without a visa or like visa free. So I couldn't register Savannah on my own name. And because of that, I could only take Savannah to the direct neighboring countries of South Africa, which are Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. So now I've been to all of these countries except Mozambique. And the reason why I'm not going there is that in the north of Mozambique um, there's a lot of uh, jihadist activity. It's like uh, ISIS has got foot aground in Mozambique and it's actually quite unsafe. And the south is quite okay but I decided to not go to uh, Mozambique altogether because of that. So that basically means that I have gone to the places that I could go with Savannah and because I have this thing coming up in South Africa um, I am now riding back but another important thing of today's ride is that I actually don't know if I can cross the border into South Africa now and the reason for that is that that border crossing between Zimbabwe and South Africa it's called Bite Bridge and officially that border crossing is closed or at least at the Zimbabwe side so South Africa's borders are open but Zimbabwe side is closed so the only border that is open land border that is open from Zimbabwe is at Victoria Falls where I entered but these things are not really like super super strict so there are still people crossing that border in Bitebridge where I'm going today no doggy no 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 doggy yeah I'm just going to try it if they'll let me out. I mean, I, I'm not trying to get in Zimbabwe. I'm already in. I, I just want to leave and South Africa's open. So I'm just really hoping that they'll let me out of Zimbabwe at that border. Because if I have to go back all the way via Victoria Falls, via Botswana, back to South Africa, that's a 1500 kilometer detour. <laughs> so that's a whole lot of talking. Um, main thing is uh, to first get my PCR test and then, uh, yeah, right to the border and let's see what happens. Okay, let's pick up my results. Morning! Okay, I've got another negative test result. So all is good. So 
So that was step one complete. Now let's ride to the border. Still uh, 340 kilometers. And it's now uh, 10 to 11. I came a little bit earlier, hoping that they would already have my result, which they did. No, no working traffic lights again. I think I'm here at the border. Oh, these trucks are terrible. Hello. I go this way? Yeah. Today I came from Great Zimbabwe. Great Zimbabwe? Yeah. It was nice. GPS. <laughs> Sorry? GPS, yes. Yeah. How many are you? Just one. Just one. one Only me. Next time you take news from there. Isn't that the scrambler, my friend? Okay. Okay. See you. It's a good sign, I think. I passed the first guards. At least they, they didn't turn me away. Uh, it seems very busy here, so... Maybe the border is just reopened, I, I don't know. It's very busy. Oh. 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 Hey. Somebody go? Echo? Oh. I thought they said, yo, stop. Or maybe not. Ah, 
I haven't seen a border crossing this <laughs> busy in months. Months, months. So, oh. Let's see. Leaving Zimbabwe, custom formalities. I think I have to park Savannah and get the papers done. And then I'll see. Parking spot. People are parked here. I have no idea what's going on. Document stamping. What do I do now? Uh, yeah. It, it I finished. Yeah, I'm, coming in. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Zim. I'm le yeah, I did immigration, customs, police. Okay. And now, what is the next? Oh, you can, you can, you can I, I go through here. Okay. Thanks. Um, what else? I had to pay four dollars and uh, show my COVID test, of course. Then some more stamps from the police. Now this is a customs checkpoint. I don't know what they're checking, but I think I'm almost out of Zimbabwe already. That was very easy, actually. Yeah, now this border seems like fully functional to me. Look how many vehicles on the other side. So they have definitely uh, reopened the border for everybody. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Let me ask him. I go this way? Yeah? I guess then we just go past all these trucks because they have usually different checks for trucks than for, how to say, normal people. Hello. Where do I go now? Good, and you? Can I take your passport? Yes, you can. Oh, I skipped it. Oh, I thought you said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, where do I go? That building. Okay. Missed one step. Which building? Oh, this one. Maybe. This building. Ah, yes, it must be this one. I go? Yes. But you... I, okay. Let's see if I can now pass over there. So you are using Kasungula border to come here in Zimbabwe? Victoria Falls. Yes, you are using the Zungula border and then you come to Big Falls. After Big Falls you are using Blauai Road and then you come here. Yeah. Yeah. We are not going to Harare. No, I did. I did. No, no, no. I went to Harare, went to Harare. and to Chimani Mani Mountains yeah, yeah, and Great Zimbabwe. And yeah, yeah. You know what? You are just writing or you are writing a book or you, are, you just want to see something. No, it's I, I make films. Huh? I make films also. We are shooting the camera. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like to ride a bike? Yeah. You like bikes? Uh, maybe you teach me one of the days. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you want to learn? You want to learn? <laughs> so when when did when did this border reopen? Reopen? Ah, you don't know. Or is it not? Mm. It's still closed on the other side. To go in Zimbabwe, in it's, Zimbabwe. it's possible or not? Uh, no, no, uh, no only we out. Yeah, way out. Ah, okay. Way out to Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because I like this life. You like this life? Yeah. yeah. You are younger than you. I'm younger than you. Okay. Yeah. How, how many years? Uh, only two. Two years. Only three years. Three years younger. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> go get your motorbike license. All right. 
You won't regret. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I don't know why they were scrutinizing my passport for so long. But uh, anyway, according to her, they're still close to get in. Ah, see, I'm going to follow this car now, past the trucks. But um, yeah, you still can't enter Zimbabwe from this way, but it's clear that they do let you out. Now I'm crossing the bridge. Riding in the mountains. Chimani Mani. Where are you coming from? I, I was riding in the Chimani Mani mountains. Chimani Mani mountains? Yeah, so oh, that, where, where, that's where? why I'm a bit dirty. Oh, you are from Chimani Mani with a bike? No, no. Yeah, yeah. With a bike? Yeah, yeah. All the way from Chimani Mani. So where in Delhi are you going? I go now to South Africa. Ah, oh, can I see your passport? Sure. So you are a traveler? I am. You have traveled <laughs> to many countries. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you can go. Okay, thanks. You can go. You are safe. You have to be safe. Always. Yeah. Always. Bye. Oh, they do respect that. Wow, look at this river. Stunning. Oh, I am so close to South Africa again. Ooh, ooh. Okay, see if I can squeeze through here. Thank you. Bye. Okay, now what? Immigration. I need my passport stamped. Obviously, Savannah is back home. She has South African license plates, so Savannah is fine. You're back home, Savannah! Oh, can you believe this? Um. Ah, immigration. Do I go here or here? This way. Oh, here. Oh, that was an absolute breeze. Stop my passports. That was it. Gave me a gate pass. So, I'm expecting one more checkpoint and that's probably it. Another thousand trucks. Hello. Hi. I'm good, are you?
<laughs> to um, what is the place? It's like 20 kilometers from here. Hmm? Tomorrow I go to Johannesburg. Tomorrow you're going to Johannesburg. Yeah, it's too far. We are going to sleep here. Not here, here. A bit further. I think. Uh, yeah. So you're from where now? From Netherlands. No, no. I'm not afraid of being stuck. No, it's a Honda. It's a good brand. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It won't stop. Yeah, okay. It always keep going. Pop, 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 pop. Mm. Yeah. Uh, next time you must invite me. I will have to make some space for you here. It's now there's not so much space at the moment. No, I'll come with mine. I'll follow. You. Oh, you have a bike? Uh, it's a small one. <laughs> 125 cc. Mm. Ah, mm. with Honda, Yamaha. Ah, uh, I'm joking. I don't you, ah, <laughs> <laughs> I asked too many questions, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I used to have one. Ah, mm. not anymore. Yeah, I know. Now, now you have a Bucky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you have a Bucky. Yes. Uh. I have a Bucky. <laughs> ah. Mm. Oh. All right. So now I didn't hear it. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to say welcome to South Africa? Welcome to South Africa. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to. I said come and oh, yeah, yeah. You know we can't. Uh, uh, yeah. What? I feel I feel welcome enough. What's your name? <laughs> Noralee. Noralee. Yeah. Ah. What's your name? Cyril. Cyril. Mm. Nice yeah. to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you. Yeah. I wish I can see you again. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Bye bye now. <laughs> You take care. <laughs> Love you long time. Oh. Okay. Oh. I think this is the road. No, maybe I have to go this way. I don't know. Once again, it is unclear. No, probably. I don't know. No, I was supposed to ride here. Oh, it's just other cars that skipped the line as well. I am back. What else is left to say? But welcome to South Africa for the second time. Oof. A lot of trucks waiting to get into Zimbabwe. Hey, oi, oi, oi. And I am here for today. I found a place to stay. Savannah is over there in her pajamas already. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a weird feeling to be back in South Africa. I'll be honest with you. Um, in the next episode, I will tell you more about what my plan is. Um, but uh, for today, I think it's finished. Um, I am here. I'm back. I'm super happy that the border crossing went quite smooth and that they let me out of Zimbabwe because it was so busy there and chaotic and I thought, nah, the border must be open again. But then the lady said like, no, it's still not uh, not open. Um, but anyway, they let me out, which I'm really happy with because yeah, if I would have had to go 
all the way around it back to Victoria Falls through Botswana it would mean an extra border crossing I would have to do again the Covid test because this one would have been expired and yeah and ride 1500 kilometers on tar uh, which is just not really fun so yeah that would have taken me at least four days it would have been a four day detour and then every day just go 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 so I'm just really happy that it all worked out um, so yeah good news and I'm back in South Africa and uh, I can't wait to share with you all my plans anyway uh, that was it for today um, I hope you liked this video even though it's not like there was much to see but um, yeah I do think maybe it's interesting to see how these border crossings go and um, yeah the chaos and the hoops you have to jump through to get everything done and all the papers and stuff um, yeah it's always a bit of a mission. <laughs>